Hey guys, Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I've got a review on Filter Mania. So this is the app right here, it will load up your camera straight away, and um, the filters that are available to you on the free version are amazing, you have heaps of filters and there's heaps more in the store. Um, there is an option to buy the Pro Pack, which um, obviously offers you heaps more professional filters. Um, I personally bought the Pro Pack so I can show you guys um, what the Pro Pack looks like. You can load a photo from your photo album or you can just take one here and as you see you've got the option to use the front facing camera flash on and off or you can just uh, move and scale an image here. I'm going to choose a random picture of myself here. Um, you do have all the filters down the bottom here and you can slide along them. As you see I have a fair few because I bought the Pro Pack. Um, the Pro Pack starts from this end Alright, so this is an example of the Pro Pack right here. So that is an ice effect right there. Um, I can use this splashed one here. You can get butterflies. Galactic. These are the few of the ones that you get straight off the bat for free. And as you see, the ones that you actually do get are pretty decent. They're decent quality. And the um, the filters that they've put into here, they've put a lot of work into these filters. What would be awesome is if you could actually move the filter, so this filter could just be a section around here, and you could just tap and drag to actually um, move the filter around, because as you see, when you get up to the Pro Pack, there are really awesome filters like this blood one, for example, but the way it's positioned, it just doesn't look realistic. It would be cool if you could like cut parts out and then just select where you want them to be. Um, maybe we'll see that in the future, I don't know, maybe that's something for the developer to think about. Um, but if you slide right along to the end, you see you do have an option for more filters. And they've actually got their own shop here for the filters, which is awesome. I brought the Pro Pack, which is this one, which is the 99 cents. If I just go into free, for example, you do have all of these for free, and it does load up a really nice example. And it is as simple as clicking download, and it will install it straight to your app, like so. I can then go back and as you see that's my new filter there. I highly recommend it, uh, the filters are really high quality, there's heaps to choose from and a lot of it is actually free so I really do like that and the fact that you can get this just array of filters, all these high quality filters um, at such a low price or even for free it's just it just makes this application worthwhile. But then when you press next as you see your photo is ready, what do you want to do next? You have the option to save, Instagram, edit again, messages, or retake the photo. So we'll just save it for example. And then there it is in my photo album as we see. Um, this is another picture I edited, so it's just a cup of tea and then I've put the leaf effect over it and as you see it does look quite amazing. So you can get amazing shots if you uh, position the shot well, um, but it would make it a lot easier if the developers allowed you to move around the filters and make it a little um, more customizable to the user. That's the only downfall about this application guys, apart from that, great application. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it is free straight off the bat, you do have the option to buy the Pro Pack, I decided to as there are a lot of great features, but that is your choice guys. Uh, click the link in the description if you want to get this application. I hope you enjoyed this review guys, make sure to subscribe, like and comment, and thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day.